Welcome, I'm from Music Denver SDQ and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification. Now as you can see the phone in front of me is locked and I have two ways of unlocking it, either the pattern or using Google account, which I can do by clicking right here. And assuming we don't know either of those, we're going to bypass this in a different way. So while this is processing, uh, I will briefly tell you what we will need. I guess it's done processing. Uh, so. I'm going to go back to the first page, connect to Wi-Fi, and you'll also need a SIM card with a uh, any phone number saved to it. It doesn't need to be a real phone number, it just needs to be some numbers and as a contact. And once you have both of those, internet and a SIM card, you can then begin by tapping emergency call and choose emergency information, tap on that twice, then go to edit on the pencil, add contact, and choose whatever contact you want. From here, once you add it, you want to tap on the contact itself and let's go to three dots and go to share. Once you see the share options, you want to hold messages. Now make sure you hold them. This will give you this pop up right here. And from here, you want to go to app info. Then scroll down to SMS apps and then opening links, scroll all the way down to YouTube, tap on the YouTube itself and go to storage, clear data, confirm that and go back to the contact itself that we were at. Okay. And once you see the contact, you want to tap on the message button and in the message type in youtube.com now the card doesn't need to really be usable even if the card can't send messages it will try to so once you press on it even if it can't it will still create this clickable link so tap on that this will take you to youtube and from here depending how quick you do it you will have either the three dots or account Whichever one you tap, both of them have setting options. So tap on the settings. Go to about Google privacy policy. Tap on accept and continue. And no thanks. And in the search bar, you want to go to hard reset that info. like so now this phone is fairly slow so give it some time so once it loads tap on the three bars go to the download section and give it again some time for it to process it as you can see it's okay there we go and loaded it and uh, now if you have some kind of problem on the device to access the download, I tried this before and for some reason I couldn't get into the downloads. What you have to do then, instead of typing on it, you can just simply type slash as you can see. So you would just press the slash and add download and then go there. So from here, you will see the download search field and you want to search for Android 8. There we go. Now I did forget to put a space there. So we'll see if that will impact the search, but you do want to put a space between Android and 8. Okay, actually let's try that. Now again, we do have to wait a bit for this. It's gonna start processing the information like there is a lot to process in the search. Okay, so once it finds the result, you're, 
you are interested in downloading the Google Account Protection Bypass in Android 8 application, stop on the download. Now once it loads, scroll down and you will see another download link. And instead of tapping on this one, you actually want to hold it. This will bring up this window and from here you want to tap on open an incognito tab, a second option continue and allow and okay and we do it this way because this will prevent any kind of problem that we could have with the download or sometimes a problem that when you try to download it uh, that it begins to download but it never finishes it it's at the hundred percent but it never completes so we can never open it opening it through this will prevent that from happening Well, finally, um, now that took way, way longer than it should. In the normal circumstances, this should be done in about a second or so. But disregarding that, once you're finished with the download, as you seen, there was a pop-up for a brief moment with the option to open. That's what you would want to do in normal circumstance. Uh, but for me, it just disappeared because I'm already in the download category. Uh, so if for you, it also disappeared. What you can do is tap on the three dots and go to the downloads where you will find where you normally find the downloaded file, which for some reason it's gone now. Guess let's tap on the download again. Now once it's done downloading, as you can see you can open it from here and uh, let's go to the settings, choose allow from this source and then go back and install. And from there you want to open it up and once you have the app open, go to Google Account Manager APK install select for version 6.0 and again we need to go to the settings allow from this source and go back and then install once it's done installing tap on done and from there choose google or bypass frp and select browser sign in Go to the three dots and again tap on browser sign in. Okay. And now you can use your Google account to log in. Now, if you don't have a Google account, you can always create it. I advise to do it on your computer. And creating an account is completely free, so you don't have to worry about that. Once you have it, then you can use it to log in here. So I'm going to use mine. Go to next and I'm gonna type in the password and tap on the sign in and once it's signed in it's gonna go back to the app itself as you can see right here so once that has happened what you need to do is hold power key select restart And once the device is actually back on, we'll be back in the setup screen. What the key difference this time around uh, is once we get to the verification page, uh, instead of the page telling us to verify the previous account, it's going to tell us that account was added and it's going to provide it with the account that we have added right now. So for me, it's going to be the hard reset info one. So let's wait for the phone to actually finish booting up. There we go. Now this is just a pin for the SIM card that is in the device. Okay, so you should see this page. And as before, we're just gonna go through the setup. And there it is, so account added. 
as you can see I, like I said hard reset info one for you it should be different obviously um, so from here tap on next now doing this will allow us to get access to the home screen but once you get to your home screen keep in mind that the process is still not finished the device isn't still fully unlocked so we're gonna get to that once I actually finish the setup and also when you're well, going to the setup right now you don't actually want to set up anything specific so skip as much as you can it won't really matter what you choose right here and basically we just want to get to the home screen as quick as possible so now we're on the home screen from here you want to open up settings so let's go to the settings scroll down go to system reset options and then erase all, all data factory reset and as you can see uh, it gives us information that performing this will remove the google account and it provides us with the account that we have added right before the restart of the device um, but this will also remove the previous account that was blocking us before which isn't specified right here so let's stop reset phone erase everything and watch the device unlock itself now now this will take a couple minutes so just be patient but once it's finished we should be then back in the setup screen of the device and from there you can go through the setup process as however you like adding all your google accounts connecting to wi-fi or skipping that however you choose everything will work just as it should so i'll be back once the reset has finished And as you can see now the process is finished. So let's go through the setup process once more. Again, let's put in the pin for the SIM card. And from here, now I'm gonna go through the setup process again fairly quickly just so I can skip majority of the things. And well, let me go back and actually change the language or for some reason change it to a different one. So Number one, we can skip Wi-Fi connection which previously was not available. If you want to, you can still connect to your Wi-Fi if you wish to. Uh, everything will work as it should. It will then allow you to also connect to Google account if you want to. Um, but I'm skipping it just to save on time as I'm skipping almost every part of the setup right now. And there we go. As you can see, we're now on the home screen. There is no need to verify anything, uh, no need to connect to Wi-Fi or do any kind of tricking. Um, the device has allowed us to go through the setup process as though it is new. And that is how you would bypass the Google verification. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.